you all watched the Oki video and you wanted to know how this will hold up after wash, well, I got the answers for you right after this. <laughs> How you guys doing? This is Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle here today to talk to you about how this Oki printed T-Shirt held up after wash. When I was in Pittsburgh with my man Ray over at North Shore Tees, we printed one of my designs with the Oki printer and everybody wanted to know how it held up. So here's my opinion. Now, first and foremost, I broke all the rules. They said in the comments, don't use fabric softener, uh, don't wash and dry on hot. Well, I washed it on hot, I dried it on hot, I used Tide detergent, and I use fabric softener. And honestly and truthfully, right now, fresh out of the wash, no iron or anything, you can see a little bit of wrinklage in it. It doesn't look bad. There is one little spot that possibly could be a crack or it could just be a wrinkle. Um, and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go and iron the shirt inside out and then see a true assessment on how it will be for the second wear. All right, so hold on one minute. Okay, so you guys just watch me iron, and if you can't tell from the way I iron, I'm just fast. Just get it, make it kind of look like it's good to go, and call it a day. I'm not that super technical, stretch it over the side, make sure every last wrinkle is out. But I wash the same way. I wash two loads. I wash colors, and then I wash whites. And if it's too many colors, then I might do a light load, but usually the light load isn't enough to wash. I'm a guy. Everything gets washed on hot again, and we just call it a day. So... Let's flip this bad boy inside out and see how it looks. All right, so after looking at it, the wrinkles that I saw definitely have come out a little bit, but it does have some, 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 not cracks, but some wrinkles in it still. I don't know if I could have pressed it longer or, you know, tried to like get a heat press type of deal. I just ironed it like you normally would. But looking at it, it gives it kind of like a vintage feel. So I don't see anything personally wrong with it. Um, let me flip, flip it around and look at it this way. But I think it held up nicely. The colors still look the same. You know, it, it just definitely looks good. So... I mean, I give it an A. You know, you guys who have Oki printers, make sure you comment below. Let let me know again how you feel or what you shouldn't do or let people know if they were to get an Oki printer, they need to watch out for this or watch out for that. But to me, the colors in this shirt still look good enough to just wear as it is. There is, however, the one thing that I said might be a crack. It is like maybe a crack in here. If I pull it, it definitely is starting to come apart in this one spot. Now that could be, I'm not sure. For the most part, it's all held together pretty well. But to me, it gives it like this vintage feel. The crack doesn't even look like a crack really because it still has some of these wrinkles in it. But when it comes to a full color shirt for custom purposes, I think this will be fine. If it's a clothing brand type of deal, this is something that you may want to consider depending on how, the quantity. Definitely for low quantities, it's something that you could do. I don't think it'll matter if you had a custom t-shirt business and you wanted to go to Oki Prints or you wanted to use Oki Prints. Obviously, the next step up from this will be a DTG machine uh, and we'll have some reviews on that type of stuff in the future. But I think it is definitely a valuable uh, printing option that comes in between where you would be uh, doing inkjet transfers. The quality is a little bit better. The colors look a little bit better. I'll have a comparison video and if it's done, you can click up top here and it will be available for you guys to watch the comparison video between the inkjet, the Oki, and the DTG. All the same exact print. 
and we're going to compare them and contrast them to see. But I can definitely see the steps in progression. Six grand versus something that will cost you 10 to 15 grand versus DTG to get in. So, but then you also have the, you know, the hundred dollar to sixty dollar inkjet version that you could do as well. So I definitely think you should go inkjet first. Then you can consider this, or you can go ahead and make the jump to a DTG machine. So that's kind of my take on it. I'm pleased, and I'm really, really happy to announce that we are launching a Oki Prints via T-shirt side hustle where you can gang print up 11 by 17 sheets. Um, and the cost is relatively cheap, especially for gang prints. There will be a very, very low minimum. It's a $75 order minimum, and there will be price breaks as well. So down below, you can click the link, and you can check out the Oki Prints transfers. They'll be shipped to you guys, and that's also going to be the new tag collective, which is going to be now the tag prints. It's no collective. I got rid of the collective part, so I won't have the problem of trying to get six people or seven people to order in order to get those to you guys. So check that page out. Again, if you have an Oki printer, let us know how you wash and what you think about washing. And that's it. This has been Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle. Peace.